Dressing Application Guide for Bridging Two Wounds, Foam. Thoroughly clean the wound. If required, apply a non-adherent contact layer over bone, tendon, other sensitive structures. Apply skin prep to protect the peri-wound skin. Cut the foam to fit the size and shape of the wound. Do not cut directly over wound. Rub the edges of the foam to remove any loose particles. If tunneling or undermining is present, consider using white foam. Cut the white foam one centimeter longer than the tunnel or undermining. Place the white foam in and pull back about 0.5 centimeters. Place the black foam into the wound cavity. Do not tightly pack or force foam into the areas of the wound. Do not allow the foam to overlap onto intact skin. If utilizing white foam, ensure white foam is in contact with black foam. Foam touches foam, always. Select an area to bridge the two wounds together. Apply transparent film over any intact skin between the two wounds where the bridge will be placed. Partially peel back one side of layer one and place adhesive side down. Then, remove the remaining side of layer one. Now remove the backing, or layer two. Remove the perforated silver-colored tab on the side. Cut a foam bridge, three centimeters wide, that will be long enough to connect the two wounds together, maximum 40 centimeters long. Apply the bridge on the transparent film between the two wounds. Ensure it has good contact with the foam in the wound and has no contact with skin that is not protected. Apply transparent film to cover all of the foam, both wounds and bridge. Partially peel back one side of layer one and place adhesive side down. Then, remove the remaining side of layer one. Now remove the backing, or layer two. Remove the perforated silver-colored tab on the side. The film should extend three to five centimeters beyond the margin of the foam dressing to facilitate an adequate seal. Place the fit pad on the foam at an appropriate location. Pinch the film, lifting slightly, and cut a small hole, approximately one centimeter in diameter. Peel off the backing of the fit pad to expose the adhesive. Place the fit pad centered over the previously cut hole. Press firmly for adherence. Attach the dressing tubing to the pump tubing by pushing the quick connector together until you hear a secure click.